Kevin Garnett, Kevin Hart, cold as balls. Cold as balls. How many more of these are we going to do? Thanks. I thought he did one with Kevin Garnett. Man, what's up with you? It, it took you long enough. We're here, Kevin. God. Huh? Go ahead, man. Hang up your robe on the hook. So I, so I know you said cold tough, so I bought. Wait a minute. What you doing? What you doing? Do? You know what I'm saying? This nigga finna go scuba diving. For the cold. Let me tell you something. Father time is undefeated. Okay? <laughs> Sit on the back of the tub. Are you serious? Sit on the back of the tub. Are you serious? Ladies and gentlemen, we have a legend in the building, Hall of Famer in the building, Kevin Garnett. Days, days. KG, God dang, where do I start, man? Where you want to start? I mean, we gotta start off where it started. Where you from? Greenville, South Carolina. Shout out to Greenville. Why basketball? Why to start in basketball? The neighborhood I moved from was more of a rougher neighborhood where we played football, slap boxed, all that. Then I moved to like a more suburb or whatever, and all the guys down here played basketball. So, you know, it's just natural fit. You're Mr. Basketball. You're you're a mm. basketball phenomenon, yeah. right? When does it start to click to those sh I'm way ahead. That's my sweet. sophomore year in high school, I started seeing colleges give me a lot of attention. I started getting invited to like camps like Nike camp, ABCD camp, which was huge camps. You don't, you don't get bigger than that. Yeah, and these got the best players in the world playing at this, all over the world playing at these camps. I actually moved from South Carolina and uh, graduated and went to school in Chicago. And then I started seeing what was once recreation for me and fun start to turn into like a passion and turn into like, oh snap, this can actually be a career for you. When you heard the transition go from college scouts to NBA scouts, what did that do to you? I didn't believe it at first. I was so I was so wrapped up into figuring Chicago out because Chicago's a lot of games, so mm -hmm. you got to get permission yeah. to go certain places. Mm -hmm. So yeah. I was one of the rare they got to play on the south side, the north side, east side, high park, west side. And playing different talents like that made me confident, and it gave me the belief that, man, if I can do it here, I can do it in organized. If I can do it in organized, man. I can relate to that. Question. What, is, what does greatness mean to you? Greatness I ever had to check in. Pitiful. Yeah. And that's what you chased, mm. at least as an athlete. Mm. You know, I'm chasing people that was in front of me, so cold, better than me. I'm the 2.0 version that's supposed to make the game better. That's what I'm chasing. Mm. Well, let me tell you what greatness means to me. Mm. There's nothing better than Captain Dry Spray. Mm. I'm talking 24 hours of long. I know you, bro. Fresh. You sneaky little doggy. Hand, please. <laughs> God, white hand, give it to me. White, white hand, hand fell off. Captain Dry Spray. 24 Where's Bam? Lasting Narrow. Defense. You don't get better than that. <laughs> That's what greatness is to out. me. Thank you, Old Spice. You gotta wait till after <laughs> that. Watch this. I yeah. know them. Sorry about that, Kev. Let's get now, dude. You're, uh -oh. you're an All-American. You're getting drafted out of high school. <laughs> you're going. I thought Chicago was you going. <laughs> Listen, I'm in Minnesota now. Okay, yeah. you get to Minnesota, man. Um, I mean, look, immediately... This is life changing. What's what's your family's what's your family's tone and temperature at this point? So I was already in the film of having um, responsibility at an early age. My mom went through a rough patch where uh, you know I had to take care of my little sister for a little bit. And in this transition of going to the NBA, she was with me. So you know when I got there, I had my younger sister. I had like a little crew with me because I didn't know anybody. I was too young to go to clubs, strip clubs, anything. Anything that the older guys were doing, I couldn't necessarily do. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. So Kevin McHale let, you know, three couple of my friends just be with me all the time, which helped. We all acclimated to Minnesota, even though it was colder. But for the most part, I got to actually come up here and just focus on basketball. I didn't focus on nothing else. And that was great for me. All right. Uh, okay. Well, uh, you, know what? you wouldn't be hot if you didn't have on a god <laughs> wet. Come on, let's go. In the tub. Let's go. Oh, edge. Oh, edge. Back the back of the stool we go, baby. We got to get into the world of you and Marbury. This is big. What was the conversation at that point? I don't think they had enough like money to hire Bam 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 and uh, Daryl. Speed up, I go to the lead, right? He goes to Georgia Tech. When we get to draft night, I'm telling Flip, man, we, we, we need to get stuff. So it, it happened. So in my mind, I'm thinking, I would never thought in my wildest dream that I get to play not only with my best friend, but somebody that I like being around. So we're like, man, Minnesota could be our thing that mm -hmm. we build ourselves. This is also where you got your 
crash course uh, into the world of business yeah. that the NBA presented itself Absolutely. to be, right? Yeah. His departure from Minnesota, right? Like the things that you think will be forever at any given time Thanks. that can change. Yeah, I thought Steph and I was going to be like forever, forever. When Steph wanted to leave and then for the reasons he wanted to leave because he, he didn't like the contract situation and then, you know, when I hollered at him, he was saying something different and all that. It just made it weird. You forget that you guys are... You forgot that you're young, man. Facts, man. Right? Facts. Like, you know, you get these grown man problems at such a young age. I ain't no script to follow. Nothing. That moment. That's a low. Yeah, at that time, the lowest. The lowest. When you become a team, man, you really take on each other. You really hold each other down. You really, you know, you're around each other so much that you become family. Now, your right. attitude towards the business is different. By the way, you book one of the biggest deals in basketball. Facts. Right? Holy sh**. Look at this guy's contract. Holy sh**. KG did it. Everybody calls me. Hey, hey, boy, I'm proud of you. Hey, man, I always knew you was going to make it, big dog. You remember, you remember Uncle Terry? I'm right down the street. Oh, well, you know, remember you talked to me? I used to see you when I'll you walked out. I tell you, I'm out of front time one time. Hey, you remember that guy? I'm the one to put the we ball used to be, We used to be together every day, man. Remember I bought you lunch that one time? I bought you them free tips. I, 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 I gave you free tips at school, bro. When you want to get it done? When did you say... Got a, I need something different. When I lost Steph, I ended up playing with Sam Cassell and Latrell Sprewell. But Sam rekindled my love for basketball and took me from a level of this thinking to this so much that I won MVP that year. And I was reactivated. And I, I always loved ball, but I was just in another realm with it. And they didn't resign Sam or Spree. Mm -hmm. And that's kind of the right ones on the wall. I love that you said, too, you were reactivated. That's such a dope term man yeah. i felt like after winning the mvp i took on another level of confidence on both sides of the ball i didn't even just think that i can i can score on you mm -hmm. i thought i could turn around and lock you up too and that's how i was playing mm. that's how i was working he, out. he's that's got that dog in him time. that's how i was that's how i was like just living that you I see was, how he's turning the eyes and everything yeah i ain't like he look out <laughs> talking about again that's what i thought not, not, not you just now you Yo. really went back to that time. Calm down. Yeah, for, for, a second, a second, for a second, for a second, your hands and shit got crazy. You almost <laughs> called me a bitch just now. I saw it here, Cab, because you don't even know. I thought I could lock <laughs> you up. I'm like, I ain't playing. Uh, I didn't mean to do that, but you understand what I'm saying, right? You get in that mode, <laughs> bro. I take on this new confidence, man, and I was just like, man, you know, if, if these guys can do that, and I'm watching how Kobe has Shaq, has Glenn Rice, has a supporting cast, and I'm just simply thinking like, okay, I gotta get to a scenario where it's similar to something like that. And Teron Lou and uh, Chauncey, who was real friends, Chauncey Billups, they actually pulled me off to the side during the summer. It was like, bro, it's time for you to get out of there. You gotta leave. Like, if, if you don't leave now, you're not gonna have a chance to be able to do some of the things you're talking about. And then, dog, you should go play with some other players, man. They actually take the, the, the some of this pressure off you. And I had never heard that, kid. And that's when I started taking steps to be able to see what my future's going to be like. I'm, I'm up for a contract, and that's when I called Cole. And Cole was in China. He was in China for like a month and a half doing a bunch of... A bunch of Cole sh Cole shit. And he wasn't <laughs> picking up the line or none of that. And then I had played with Paul Pierce when I was younger in AAU in like one tournament. Mm -hmm. In that little thing, it was like three of us. Ray Allen was one of the guys. So I had played with Ray, knew his family, he knew me. But Ray comes to uh, Boston with Paul. And I was like, damn, who in the league that I can actually have wings, you know, wings and guards mm -hmm. to play with that's going to be better than them two? So... Um, I made the decision. I said, I'm going to go to Boston and told my wife, and then I announced it, and, and the rest is history. The rest is history. There they go. Oh, God. I was waiting on them. Oh. oh. These are my guys. No, guys. Don't, that, no. They yeah. came back yeah. freaky, do boy. He did it a couple times, but they had padding on the... Daryl, but you knock your guys head off. Go over there. Bam, go. Oh. Okay, we're coming here. Nigga need Something to hit the gym. Like freak Chippendales. Come on, I'm man. a freak ass. Like Freak. Now, Daryl got a gut. Do I need you to focus? Hop in. Get in, man. Well, that's what I was doing for they came out. Here we go. Oh! Ah! Here we go. Okay, we're now in Boston. Are you in there? We're in Boston. Nah. You got Ray Allen, you got <laughs> Paul you like Pierce. You. you don't look like you are. Bro, always finessing okay, his way, go. bro. Are you in there? Yep. Almost. We there. You there? Okay. Are you okay? I'm good. You had another piece to this puzzle. No. Yeah. Where's that Rondo? I watched a uh, rare clip of uh, the Celtics playing the Knicks at uh, Madison Square Garden, and 
really it's like a two minute riff of his greatness at an early age he's a rookie this time but he's doing things that just make you go oh wow did you see you see that mm -hmm. i saw his last name it, it was rondo so I said, Danny, man, um, listen, I, I know I know you're talking about throwing a bunch of pieces in here, but you're gonna have to keep the little African kid, man. You know, the little the little the little regime or whatever he's not. He said African. <laughs> he said, hey, gee, I don't I don't wanna sound crazy, but you know, we got a bunch of Afro American guys and don't with the little the point guard. And he's like, he's not African. <laughs> He's like, he's from Kentucky, or he's not African. <laughs> I don't know name so bad. Listen, so much that when I met him, I said, man, listen, first question, man, what is your name, man? He said, oh, people call me Rajon, man. I was like, man, I'm sorry, I called you African, man. I, 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 I said, I didn't know where you was from, dog. We all kind of had a laugh. But him and I had chemistry day one. We were thinking on the same plateau. We're kind of similar, because he's quiet and I'm quiet with country boys. And little by little, I started to recognize everybody's greatness and what they brought to this team. And I was like, man, I ain't never been on no team like this. No, no, this is a championship contender mm. right now. Like, this is this is real. This is Th now. Yeah, this is like, this This can happen now. 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 You guys get it done. Matthew, get it done. Now you see, well, there's a pattern that it's now creating based off of what you did. It's copy lead. It's a copy lead, so people follow suit. They was on some mastermind, so we look up and Brian goes to Miami. And when Brian goes to Miami, the whole league shift. Mm -hmm. And we looked up and yeah, it was over. When you say <laughs> it's over, <laughs> when you say it's time for me to walk away. It's time to start thinking about what? post. Oh, you need to stoop? I was in it, okay? Hey, give it the right hand. Oh, wow. I need you to take it. Oh, wow. Give it the right hand. Oh, wow. Go ahead. So, at that moment, what what is, like, <laughs> what got you to go there? Michael Jordan gave me some great jewels when I was young. Say, young fella, you're going to know when you're supposed to leave the game because everything around you, is you're not going to recognize none of it. And I didn't understand it at the time. And we're in Miami, game seven, and uh, they beat us. And about two minutes to go, I look up, and it hit me. Man, it's over. The wave is over. And that was the, that was the beginning of the end. I know mm -hmm. you and Paul are still close. You and Ray had a difficulty at one point, but recently the NBA put together their top 75. And there's a moment um, after where a conversation is had. What tapped into the grown man of Kevin Garnett to say, do we keep it as a thing or do we solve the thing? What made the, the Ray situation so prolific with with us is because the structure we built in Boston, the three of us built that. So oh, he did lead to go to Miami. And then one of and then got him a championship. Like, I didn't take on none of that. I was in my own feeling. So I was super competitive. Anybody know me was like that. The passing of Cope and all of us getting older helped me understand that life is not given to none of us. Absolutely. It would have f with me if, if something would have happened to Ray and I didn't get a chance to amend this. I was competitive when we was competitive, and you know what? I'm glad you're here. It's good to see you. I got off what I was on. Mm -hmm. I, I got off the bullshit. It was actually natural just to see him there in great health. Mm -hmm. I seen little Ray. I seen all his family. They were all bigger, older, doing new things. So it was dope to see that, and that's what my focus was. I love the fact that's that real. you are who you are unapologetically and have been. I did so much listening to you today. And the way that you talk and the manner that you talk in, mm -hmm. people should listen. Give my full information. You know what I'll say? Anything is possible! <laughs> <laughs> Troll Lord. Anything <laughs> He gonna yeah, grab, he gonna this grab this one of the best episodes that we have had. Thank you for having me here. I'm a huge fan of this show. Oh, there you go, D. Wrap up. If you could just give me a second. Just a, a question to the crew. Well, I'm really, I'm really confused here. Really bothered. And tell me, tell me what these are for. You didn't hear me wrap up the gun show. I told you I gave you the cue. Y'all didn't hear me get a cue. I said when I give the cue, got let it loose. Let it loose. When I say anything is possible, you're supposed to let it fly. Let it fly. God, God, let it fly. Joe, hit the button. Anything is possible. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> bro, that's so stupid, bro. They open up the, the production, huh? They up in the scope. I they fire. Fire they have, but they, they up the scope. <laughs>